generate web application analysis report. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We will learn about the web application analysis procedure and then how to save the results that we are going to cover here in this video. So now you can open the burp suite where we have performed spidering process of a particular web application. So guys, uh, I'm here at the burp suite and in the previous video, we have learned about the coloring techniques to differentiate various kind of vulnerabilities or pages. Now here we are learning that how you can save this result. For example, you can see here on the right hand side that these all are the web URLs are available here. So how I can save it? If I want to save all the URLs, how I can do it? So it's not possible to select all of them and right click and copy them. I don't want to do that. It's a very simple technique. Let me show you. So this is the website on the left hand side testphp.vulnerweb.com. You can simply right click here. You can see here that there is option available to copy URLs in the host. So these all are the URLs available. I just want to copy that because if I'm creating a report, so I need these URLs so that I, I can put these URLs in the reporting. So click here, copy URL in the host, right? So you can simply click here, right? So the, they all copied. Now you can open, for example, Word or Notepad. So for example, let me open Notepad and here it is. And now I can simply type control V to paste all the links here, control V. And here you can see that the whole URLs available in the burp suite in the right hand area, I have copied them inside a notepad file and I can use all these URLs inside my report, right? So that's how you can save the details or the results of a particular scanning inside burp suite. So that's how it works. It is very easy and uh, you can also select a particular one and you can right click here and then you can simply copy the URL. If you want to select a particular item, then you can click here and right click and copy URL. Got it? That's how it works. Or there are various options are available like delete host if you want to delete any host, save selected items, right? So for example, if I've selected everything, if I right click here and save selected items, so if I want to save it on my desktop with the name for example, b.html and click save. So it has saved on my desktop, right? Basically, that's how you can save the various kind of reportings using Burp Suite options. So there are various options available which you can use to save the various results. In the next video, we are going to explain about web application analysis report.